This is lesson one of your click course, and we start with a very nice topic, of course, of the birth of Italy, of Italy's democracy and the Republican Constitution. And we start with a date which is the 2nd of June 1946, and we have a lot of newspapers who say the Republic, the Italian Republic is born, and we have, we don't have a king anymore, we have a republic. So the key words of the today are key expressions of today. The first one, institutional referendum, which is the referendum which took place on the 2nd of June 1946, for the first and last time in Italy, uh, people were called to decide which institutions they wanted, they to choose their form of government. And these were the result. The places where are, which are in blue are where uh, the, monarch, the Republic prevailed, the, the, the places which are in pink or in red are where the monarchy prevailed and it won. And you can see Italy was divided into two. In the north we had the monarchy winning, in the south, uh, the Republic winning, in the south, the south we had the monarchy. Universal suffrage. For the first time in Italy everybody Males and females, males and females with uh, more than 21 years old, will have a vote. It's quite discussed uh, the vote of women. They, they were fears. There were fears, but women could vote in favor of monarchy. But women could vote not because they were convinced to vote in a certain way, but because they would just vote what their husbands were going to tell them. That, of course, didn't happen that time. And it never happened afterwards, we must say. Constituent Assembly, third keyword. This is, they voted not only, Italians voted not only to uh, decide monarchy or republic, but also to choose the members of the Constituent Assembly, an ad hoc body which had a very important task to write the new constitution. Pure proportional, purely proportional system, meaning that each party got a percentage of seats which was equal to the percentage of votes they were getting in the popular vote. A lot of more than 20 million Italians voted. Uh, the first three, three parties got 16 million votes. So a lot of votes. They shared more than 60% of the electorate and they got 60% of the seats accordingly. You see, a lot of pure proportionalism. So a lot of parties uh, represented in the Constituent Assembly. Four characteristics of the Republican Constitution. It took one year and a half to approve a new constitution. The Constitution, uh, the Constituent Assembly used a Constituent Commission and a Commission of 18. The Commission of 18 actually wrote down the text. The Commission of 75 uh, discussed about it and the, the Constituent Assembly voted uh, at the last time to decide the text of the constitution. A lot of amendments were uh, presented, a lot of amendments were discussed, and uh, they ended up with a very nice constitution, a very good text, which is, for, for a lot of parts, was much more modern than the legislation of the uh, Italian monarchy, and is uh, still uh, good today. These are the characteristics of the uh, constitution. It is a rigid constitution, it cannot be changed by a normal law. This was a key element decided because of uh, uh, Santo Albertino and what had happened with Santo Albertino, which had been uh, devoided by the fascist party without having to even to change a lot of laws. Just changing a few laws, they changed completely the meaning of the Albertine statute. So that couldn't happen to the new constitution. It is a democratic constitution. It has been voted by an, an assembly elected by the citizens. It is a democratic constitution. The principle of democracy is in the first article. Italy is a republican democracy. Compromisory. The different parties reached a compromise. They ended up giving something to the other parties, but obtaining something from the other parties. So it's a compromisory constitution. It is a long constitution. It contains dispositions about the form of state and about the form of government. It's a secular or racist uh, constitution. We don't have a religion of state. All religions are welcome and can be exercised in Italy. Republican, 
We have in the first article, the Republican and the Democratic principle, democracy and republic cannot be changed. They have to be left there, just like human rights. Another point, last point, it's a programmatic constitution. It doesn't always say what will happen, but it tells a lot of times uh, to the legislator what he should do. And uh, uh, sometimes, and a lot of times, it needs law to apply the principles stated in the constitution. Anyway, our constitution was approved on the 27th, 22nd of December of 1947. It was uh, published, promulgated by Enrico de Nicola, provisional president of the Republic and the first uh, president of the Republic of Italy on the 27th of December afterwards, uh, published on the official Gazette of the Republic of Italy on the 27th of December of the same day and comes into force on the 1st of January. It was also published in all municipalities where there was a room for one year or for the entire 1948, there was a room where people could go and have a look, a physical look, to the Constitution and just to get to know what it meant, what it contained. So this is all for the first lesson. Thank you very much for your kind attention.